if one day I lose all my luxury items, okay, that first part was very scary to say. <laughs> okay, so if that happens, these are the luxury items that I will buy. Beshi, welcome again to ating bagong video. And if you are new to my channel, hi Beshi, welcome to my channel. And my name is Martha Santa Barbara Villarama, also known as the Beauty Junkie. And I vlog about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, travel, and food. Now, if you are into those kinds of things, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the notifications bell so you are always updated on my latest uploads. And follow my social media accounts. Okay, so uh, as you can see, kitang kita nyo naman sa likod ko, those are pretty much my luxury um, items. So, at first, I was deciding to focus only on luxury goods and luxury leather goods. But I realized that's gonna be like a what? A five, four minute video. <laughs> So I decided luxury across all of my um, usual items or at least the items that I have luxury brands in. Okay, so we're gonna cover luxury bags and shoes, makeup, and um, some random things. So let us start with luxury makeup. I actually wanted to include a lot, but then again, I thought if I only have a very limited budget, if I should buy them again, these are what I would buy first off. First would be powder. As an oily skin girl, sobrang kailangan yan. And the powder that I always repurchase and will repurchase over and over again if ever I keep, if I lose one or keep on losing them, huwag naman sana, is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. This one is unmatched, really smoothing, has decent oil control, and for some reason, my face just looks so good with this. This is filter in a compact. I just hate the fact that it doesn't have a sponge. It's something that I can work around on. In fact, I have um, an old one here. Pahit ako sa inyo, my old um, Charlotte Tilbury Compact. I have inserted a sponge here. So, ayan, may sponge. Akasha naman. It has to be like this really thin square sponge. Marami sa mga Shopee and Lazada. See how much I love this thing. I went through three compacts of this already. The next one that I would repurchase is foundation because I love my base. And the first luxury foundation that I will repurchase if I lose all my makeup is the Chanel Ultra Lit Tint, Lit Tint, Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation. Really good foundation. I love the matte finish. And for some reason, it is very lightweight and looks very natural, but manages to cover um, a really good amount of my pigmentation from light to heavy. Plus, this has good staying power. Madali rin siya tangga tanggalin. And between this and the Dior, I have the two actually. And between this and the Viral Dior Foundation, I would go for this one. Because aside from the aside from the benefits, color matching for me is better overall with Chanel. And the third one at the moment would be um, a blush. Because if there's one makeup that can really transform your look, in my opinion, that would be a blush. Most of the time, if I'm not wearing makeup, I just dab blush on my cheeks. And for some reason, I'm fresh and okay. I have a glow. Okay, so that's why a blush is very important. The luxury blush that I will first repurchase would be the Chanel blush. This is Joe's Contrast. I will not pretend to be a French woman here. I'll just call this the Chanel blush. Okay, so uh, it, this lasts forever. Kita niyo naman. Antagal na nito sa akin. Tapos ayan, I haven't even made a dent on this. This just looks so good. Pigmented, buildable, and it just looks like your skin if it's on. And ang bango lang niya. It has this nice rose fragrance. Okay, so that's it for makeup. Di ko na lahat because we will take a whole day with makeup alone. Alright, moving now to perfume. Okay, let's say we have a budget and I have to use it across all the luxury items that I want to repurchase. So perfume, siguro I will get one first and then build it gradually uh, as I go along. And the first ever luxury perfume that I will repurchase would be my Byredo Balia Freak. This is a very unique fragrance. One of my best perfume finds in the last few years. Uh, because this perfume has so much character and that's one thing that I always look for in perfumes and that is character. It smells very exquisite like you're a well-traveled person. It just never fails to make an impression with anyone who happens to smell this on me. Plus good staying power as well. Second would be gadgets, okay? Because we natin sa hindi, gadgets are luxuries, okay? Alright, so the first thing that I will buy is 
a MacBook. No specific model, just a MacBook. Can we all agree that a MacBook is a luxury laptop? I'm not a techie girl, but I've been reading that it has just okay specs. It's just that it's Apple. That's why it is expensive. So yeah, I'll buy this because this is my work. And in order for me to repurchase these again, I would need to work. And I need a laptop. And then my iPhone. Again, just like the MacBook, I think the, the iPhone is a luxury phone. Kasi presyo na to ng tuition ng bata ng one year, no? And same reason as the laptop. This is my work. And if I want to repurchase these again and more, I have to work. So I have to repurchase this. Moving to shoes. Well, I only... I'm not really a shoe person. So if I could only save one or repurchase one, um, that would be this shoe. And that is my Louis Vuitton Runaway Sneakers. I wanted to say that I will repurchase the Gucci Brixton because so far, so good. But I haven't worn it enough yet to say that I really love it over this one. Because this one, I've owned this for three years already and been wearing it frequently. I love it. It looks um, posh and I think since it's black, it can go pretty much with anything. Maganda rin siya eterno sa dress because, you know, it has this gold pl plate over here. So it gives that, you know, parang glam look. Okay, let's now go to the handbag. The first item that I would repurchase if ever I lose all my luxury bags. But that thought alone is making me... Uh. Okay, the very first one that I would repurchase is what I'm wearing. And this is the LV Multi Pochette Accessoire. I still maintain that this is one of the best bags LV has ever made. Just because, look at this thing. It is so functional. And some people, they just call it very busy, but in person, it actually looks good. And if you love wearing planes like me, ayan, sobrang okay nito. Hindi lang siya bag, mukha talaga siyang ano, fashion accessory. It's like you have this functional necklace on you. Oh my god, you can use this as a pouch, meron ka pang extra strap. What's not to love about this thing? So yeah, so at least meron akong immediate na small bag, um, crossbody, and evening bag. The second luxury bag that I will repurchase would be my lady dior but not in this color anymore because this is such a pain in the gluteus maximus the style of the lady dior is really classy and if you're bringing this talaga, it really makes you look ladylike it looks good with any dress and if you love wearing dresses then automatically this bag will fit and if you want to instantly look um, smart casual or semi-formal, just bring this bag, you're good to go. It can be a day bag or an evening bag. But not in this color anymore because it's true what they say and that is light-colored bags really need a bit of extra care. And especially for leathers like lambskin because lambskin can be very porous. So it um, attracts dirt and gets stains easily. But the good part naman is you know, very easy to clean. Siya. But luxury bag owners like me can relate when I say that even if we know that, we still get mini heart attacks whenever we see stains on our bags. Because you never know if they can still be removed or not. Yikes. And overall, yung style talaga niya is really, really nice. And I get a lot of compliments if whenever I'm wearing this bag. And super okay talaga siya for any event. Blush is a beautiful color. And this is the reason why I bought the Lady Dior. It's because of this color. But I have learned that I am not really a light-colored bag person. So this is gonna be my last light-colored bag in a while. And the final luxury handbag that I would repurchase if ever I lose it god no not this no 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 no, no. <laughs> that would be my chanel classic flap this bag has a lot of sentimental value precisely because it has a lot of memories attached to it number one this is one of my dream bags ever and once upon a time in my life i thought that i could never ever get this for myself and number two this is like a celebratory bag because this is the first bag that i purchased three years after the lockdown and the first time that I traveled again and that was in Singapore. Thinking about it now, in a way, this bag is a celebration of my life post-lockdown because there were so many times during the lockdown when I experienced a lot of anxiety, stress, and that lingering thought and feeling of you could be next. I was living in fear for the last three years just like everyone else and three years after, I'm just thankful that I'm still alive. And number three, this is one of my best birthday gifts to myself because I got this for my 34th birthday. And sentiment aside, this bag is an asset because we all know that Chanel has crazy inflation. So yun lang, those are the luxury items that I will repurchase if I lose them one day, knock on wood three times. One, two, three. 
So, kung mangyayari ito sa inyo, ano yung mga unang i-repurchase nyo? Let's talk about it in the comment section. That's all. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider sharing this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. Click the notifications bell so you're always updated on my newest uploads. Don't forget to follow my social media accounts. Visit my blog and I'll see you beshi sa next video natin. Bye!